Well, YouTubers, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you again. And what we have here is a replica made by the Pieta Firearms Company in Italy. It's a replica of the Colt 1860 Army Revolver. And this revolver was made just in time for the, to become the, the most popular handgun for the American Civil War. The revolver is a six-shot cap and ball revolver that fires a 44 caliber round lead ball. The powder charge was roughly 30 grains of FFFG black powder ignited by a percussion cap which is a copper cap with fulminate of mercury inside. When the hammer struck the cap, the flame would, would travel through the, the little nozzle here into the chamber to ignite the powder charge and drive a approximately 130 grain lead round ball through an 8 inch barrel at about 900 feet per second, making this a very effective revolver for the army to use. Now the loading of the revolver is accomplished by the use of, of a measuring device that would pour 30 grains of black powder into the, each cylinder and then an oversized lead ball would be pressed over the end of, the, of, the, of each cylinder and then a ramming device would seat that ball on, on top of the black powder. Now this is important because all black powder arms should have the bullet rammed right down onto the powder. Now whether a wad is used or not, that it needs to be rammed right down onto the powder so there cannot be any air gap in there. Air gaps would cause uh, tremendous overpressure and possibly blowing up the, the weapon. Typically then a uh, a, a amount of some kind of lubricant like lard. Today was, uh, Crisco is used but it's smeared over the, the bullet so that there's no chance of the firing of one chamber causing ignition of, of adjacent chambers. So this is, is commonly done to prevent that. Now the American Civil War has been the subject of many movies, books, and writings, but one of the most famous of, of late is the movie made by the Turner Broadcasting Company in 1993 called Gettysburg. And in the movie, the, the Battle of Gettysburg during the American Civil War is, was perhaps the turning point of the uh, Civil War, where the war became... Uh, the Union side that favored the preservation of uh, the United States and all the states together became predominant after this battle. And this is perhaps the, this is the most bloody battle ever fought on American soil. But if you haven't seen this movie, it's a very entertaining movie and very historical, uh, ver n nicely done and uh, closely, closely true to the actual history of the uh, Gettysburg Battle. And having a revolver like this allows one to appreciate the history of the times. To show you this revolver a little closer, it's got a brass frame, and here is the little ramming device. You can see it how it would ram the, the ball. So the powder charge was poured into the chamber and then a ball was pushed on there and then seated all the way down. And this was done in all six, cylind all six cylinders or six chambers. 
then the percussion caps would be placed onto the each nipple and then the revolver would be ready to fire. Sights are very rudimentary. In fact, when the, when the pistol is brought to full cock, the rear sight's a little notch on the hammer, and there's the front sight right there. However, targets as far away as, as 75 yards could be engaged with this revolver. And this 8-inch model with the round barrel is typical of the revolver used by the Union troops. The Confederates had an octagon barrel, and it was shorter. But one of the major characters in the movie is Colonel Chamberlain from Maine. And the battle fought at the Little Round Top against uh, many Confederate troops was uh, perhaps one of the, the signature battles in, within the Battle of Gettysburg. So, there's Chamberlain right there. At any rate, uh, this is uh, a very entertaining movie. I recommend that, uh, that you uh, YouTubers go out and see it if you haven't seen it already. Uh, but you take care, and uh, the cap and ball revolvers are, are certainly uh, fun. Uh, I haven't fired this yet because I, I purchased this revolver for the uh, purpose of having something that was a replica of, of what was used during the Civil War, but black powder is not, is not um, something that I've gotten into, but I certainly one day might very well go ahead and, and, and do that. So, certainly it's, um, it might be very interesting. YouTubers out there, take care, and uh, this is Fortune Cookie. We'll see you again on the next video. Bye for now.